Alright, hey guys. Uh, I decided to do kind of a time-lapse type thing for this video. Just to try something new. Now that I have gotten... I don't know. Time to try something new. As you can tell, I am not very eloquent in my speech, but I am working on it. Not really, because I edit all of my videos. But, um, right now we're working on a cool Raven mod. Uh, right now we're just doing some shell modification to fit in a coupler. No idea why we'd want to do that. Because the, Raven, because the Raven is just such a great blaster at shooting darts from a clip. Wow. It's not like there's any other blaster on the market that can do that. Cough strife. <laughs> anyway. I'm just working on kind of creating something to fit the coupler to the motors so that I can um, shoot darts from this piece of PVC um, that I'm cutting right now very quickly and then have it feed well into the flywheels. And so what am I doing right now? Oh, and then I'm just... Uh, Clearing out some space to fit the PVC in the shell. I'm just going to cut out that back part so that I can feed darts into it. Yeah, uh, one thing, um, the music in the background is actually quite funny because, um, I don't know, it's, I was listening to music while I was modding this and then just listening back to the audio actually sounds quite good even though it doesn't really sound like anything but I don't know, I like it anyway, doing lots of shell modification I'll fit that PVC in well and <coughs> yeah as you can tell, I'm not the best at this. There are definitely people who are better than me. But if you don't like this video, you can just go ahead and stop watching. I'm sure there will be a very nice video coming up soon on this blaster. Hint. Anyway, now we're just moving on to the other half of the shell. Because PVC won't fit in just one half. So you got to cut out the back of this half as well. And I think, yeah, right here, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do this in. Not sure what I'm doing right there, but anyway. Uh, no, I'm doing the test fit first. Got to clear out some more parts. And uh, I've totally run out of things to say. But, yeah, this mod is not supposed to be practical in any way, shape, or form. And, I don't know, you can do it and try to make it practical, I don't know, this might work for you, but I would recommend putting kind of a ball valve instead of a coupler, because I'm having problems with darts just kind of feeding into the flywheels without having anything to stop them, so if you put a ball, like a three-fourths ball valve, then that could kind of help that. Oh, and I'm totally forgetting to talk about what's going on, but right now I'm just kind of putting epoxy putty um, in kind of that hole in the back of the shell to hold the PVC straight without it wobbling everywhere, because there isn't really any support, but um, I was sure to lithium grease the PVC so that I can actually get it out after um, putting the epoxy putty on, because I want this to be removable so I can have like clips for uh, different amounts of darts. Yeah, and right here I just noticed that um, the main trigger is just kind of sitting there uselessly since I'm not using the traditional advancing mechanism um, to kind of push darts into the flywheels. And so then I'm just trying to, I just tried to find a way to kind of stick that to the rev trigger. But right here I notice that the hot glue that I put on kind of gets in the way of it sliding back. 
and so then it just kind of sticks in the on position. So, just trying to separate the triggers. And, yeah, I'm still doing that. And I'm not sure what happens, like, later in this uh, video, but somehow while I was recording, my camera kind of copped out on me, and then just kind of randomly stopped recording. So, then, um, there's just kind of one part where coming up where you just kind of miss a bit and it happens, but I don't know, nothing really that important that goes on. Um... Yeah, I'm just trying to fix the trigger a little better, but I end up just kind of leaving it. Yeah, and right there was the gap, kind of, and basically all that really happened is I decided to put a spring behind the main trigger to push it back, and kind of carved out the notch a bit more so that I could press the flywheel button with the main trigger and have it kind of activate it. And then right here, I'm just kind of test fitting the epoxy putty again, making sure that everything's working. Yep, put that together. Mm -hmm. And not quite sure why I stopped the camera there, I just kind of decided to. But you definitely didn't miss anything there. And I'm just mixing up some more epoxy putty to really stabilize the um, PVC, that's what it's called, in the shell. Because the coupler just wants to push the PVC a bit further down than I wanted it to. But, yeah. And then I'm just epoxy puttying in the coupler. And now I'm going to cut to a firing. Hey guys, I just finished finals and decided I would paint the long shot for my previous video. Like I promised, this paint job will knock your socks off. I think that I succeeded.